Hello and welcome to a video where I'll show you how to get your iPhone videos from this to this. So, everybody's making iPhone videos now. Are you a teacher or being interviewed on a podcast, giving a presentation or starting a YouTube channel? Chances are maybe you're even trying to record yourself right now. In this video, I'll show you how to film better talking head videos with your iPhone. Many creators will teach you how to make your iPhone photo cinematic, spoilers, go to a beach in golden hour and have models as friends. But talking head videos, although boring, are inevitable. Like 80% of YouTube is somebody talking into the camera. So a humble talking head video with your phone how to make it better. I promise I won't get too technical and I'm not gonna use expensive equipment. Okay, so the first step is use your back camera. We all wanna film ourselves like this as if we're taking a selfie, but the front camera actually has a pretty low resolution and a pretty small aperture, which basically just means that it needs more light. So if you're shooting yourself with your front camera and the footage is getting grainy, that means that there's not enough light for it. Make sure you're using your wide angle camera, regular wide angle, both ultra wide and telephoto need more light and are more likely to end up looking grainy. Just by turning our phone around, we are going from this to this. This is a subtle difference at this point, but we're gonna do a lot of smaller things that'll add up uh, by the end of the video. Next up, light. Find a large diffused light source, AKA a window. If you watch early videos by Peter McKinnon, you'll notice that he also used the film next to a window. So if it worked for him, there are some ground rules though. First, have the window to the side and second, avoid harsh light. Also, as you're framing your shot, try to not have the window in it. You basically want your face to be reasonably bright, if not the brightest thing in the frame. And it can never compete with the window. So um, the trick is to get the light from the window, but to not have it in frame. Window to the side, good. Window in front of you can be good. It can also blind you, but whatever. Window behind you, bad. Make sure your HDR is on. For photos, it can still be hit and miss, but for video, it really makes a lot of difference. Okay, I'm thinking about actually sitting on the other side of the table, cause like this dying palm tree <laughs> looks much better than all this. Okay, now let's talk camera positioning. Awkward angles can be a big sign that you don't really know what you're doing. Fake it till you make it. So to frame this shot, I'm using a gorilla pod. This is not the first time I'm mentioning it on my channel, uh, but I do think you should look into getting a gorilla pod for your phone if you're at all serious about your phone photos and videos. You can get a gorilla pod for your phone for about 25 bucks, and if it's not tall enough, you can just put it on a stack of books. I also don't like when people on camera sit too close to a wall, so there's like more than an arm's length between me and the wall currently, and if I had more space, I would probably sit even further from it. But anyway, there is one final thing we really need to talk about. Your audio. Sound is more important than video. Don't believe me? Well, tell me, would you rather listen to me through this nice microphone in front of my face? or through the onboard microphone on my camera. Any thoughts? Testing, testing, one, two, three. You don't wanna record the echo of you in the room, you wanna record yourself. And to do that, we need to have a mic that's as close to your mouth as possible. Luckily, this is pretty cheap. This is a Rode Smart Lav Plus, Lav as in lavalier, AKA lapel mic. And it's about like 50 bucks. If you have an iPhone without a headphone jack, you are gonna need the dongle, but otherwise it works. The cable is actually a bit too short, but you can also get extension cords for this mic specifically. Um, now, normally I would wear a shirt and clip it onto my lapel, but because I'm just wearing a black t-shirt, I'm gonna pretend this is how I wanted it to look. The whole point is, 
you need to have a mic close to your face and this thing delivers that for a very low entry price. There are other cheap lapel mics made for your phone out there. Some of them have a bigger cord. If you're tempted to get a mic for your phone that stays on your phone, don't do it. Because like if I wanted a mic far away from me, I just use the one that's in my phone already. And that's how to take better talking head videos with your phone. Remember what it looked like when we began? Hello and welcome to the video. As I said, a lot of small improvements can really get you a long way. And you don't need to be too technical. You just need to know what to pay attention to. I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. There's more coming. And if you have any questions or tips and techniques that worked for you, please share them in the comments. Bye.